Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how I make my thumbnails in Sony Vegas. I don't use Photoshop because I'm useless at it. So basically I'm going to show you how to do one like this and also one like this. So if we start with this one, basically um, I get my images by, in my the video I've created, I will uh, take a snapshot of three scenes or more if you want um, by pressing this button here and it will bring you to somewhere and you can save it and then I import them all into either the same Sony Vegas pro uh, project or a new one and I will line them up um, as so Let's put it in the same place. Um, now for this one here we're going to do it so that I use the effect new blue um, picture grid um, I'm sure you can recreate this with cookie cutter actually I'm certain you could but for ease, I'm going to use picture grid because that's what I always use. Um, basically, uh, I've got my settings preset, so I'm just going to quickly show you. Um, I'm going to start. We we'll start with Summer, who we're going to put on the bottom half. So to do that, she needs um, it's only one vertical. No, all the way around. One horizontal, two verticals. And then the grid position is where it is on here. So if we put that to the other end, so she's down there. And that's it. Um, I have the border up at 5 thickness and 100, obviously 100 opacity and black. Um, but you could do your own settings if you wanted. And then to readjust how she's there is sat there, we're kind of going to move, adjust in the pan and crop area and just move her until we're happy with that. Um, I've already added him in. Now it's two by two, so easy, two horizontal, two vertical. He's in the first grid position because he's there, so that's easy. For Lois, same thing again, my settings two by two, but move her up the grid position until you see her there. Really easy. Um, my text, again, I already have saved um, a set, a, the fonts. Um, I use Winsong for my, the, the, like, what do you call this? Curlier text. <laughs> I can't think of what they're called right now. Um, and then I use effects and I use the shadow so you can see it because most of the time you can't. I usually use 100 here, not 200. Um, and then I go into properties and I make the tracking bigger just to stretch it out and then scale it up a bit because why not? And then my second thumbnail text is Constantina, all in capitals, because why not? I'm just going to say where we belong, because it's the song I was listening to. Um, and then again, I move the tracking up, I play with the scaling, I also add the shadow, and 100. And then we go into pan and crop on one of them, and we adjust it accordingly. Actually, I'd usually use the where we belong and put that a bit lower. I often do it so one's just below the line and one's above it, but like play with it however you want. Um, and that is basically the really simple way I make my multi fandom uh, thumbnails usually. Um, obviously, you could do different combinations of these three squares or you could do four squares, whatever you want, just to mix it up a bit. Okay, now to create this idea, it's slightly more complicated, but not really. Um, basically, let's just put that up a bit. again, we add our free clips to the timeline, all on different tracks. Um, then we basically click the pan and crop, and we click mask down here. Because and then this button here is the pen tool or whatever you call it, and then we're going to really, really, really roughly make points around her to mark it out, join it back up at the end. Then I use feather both, um, and then I just put this up low so that it's all feathered out, and then we move on to it. We do the exact same thing with these two. I'm going to use the pan and crop just to push him out a bit because he's got like a massive head here. Um, <laughs> as you can see, her feathers probably be a bit too much. But for now, let's stick with him. Anyway, back into this. Click the mask option and we do the exact same thing with Clark. So if we just 
really really roughly it really doesn't matter because you're going to feather it out anyway um, it's probably better to go a bit further in than I have as you can tell I'm doing this really quickly um, and then we do the exact same thing with her again I'm going to move her out a bit with this because she's in the way she's actually probably doesn't need masking out but I'm going to do it just to show you around her head oh I didn't join out oh no that's never good okay yeah um both let the feather up however we want it I don't know just right over Summer's head I think and then once you've done all of them you can adjust the feather accordingly I think like she's a bit too much yeah as you can see that's looks better it's because I did her so far out so it is suggested to mask them a bit closer than I do I'm a bit too rough with how I do this basically once I've done that I usually make part of them black and white just so you can differentiate between the two sections but obviously this is something you do not have to do did we do it that way around for this one? I can't remember. Yeah, I did. Uh, as you can see, it's slightly different. And then I basically, I do the exact same text um, that I showed you earlier. So the font is, this, uh, the capital text is Constantina, and then adjust the tracking and scaling accordingly. There is no logic to how I do it, I just play around. Um, and then the other one is wind song and then it's the exact same thing tracking scaling and make sure you add the shadow for a bit more depth to it and that is basically how I do them and then once I've done I click this the save snapshot to file again and then I save it somewhere and then I upload it to YouTube and that is my simple two different ways of doing thumbnails in Sony Vegas um, they're very rough they're not anything too fancy, but I hope that this has helped some of you. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me.